While London's real estate sales continue, one project is finally getting started, Chelsea Barracks. Chelsea Barracks was built in the 1860s to hold two battalions of troops. The original brick structure was eventually demolished in the 1960s and replaced by two 13-story towers for the Guards' regiments. The Chelsea Barracks development has not been without controversy. Some property analysts felt that the buyer of the Chelsea Barracks overpaid. Even Prince Charles got involved because he was displeased with the development's plans. In 2008, the troops were relocated to the Royal Artillery Barracks in Woolwich, allowing the Ministry of Defense the opportunity to sell the property. On 6 September 2005, Secretary of State for Defense John Reed announced that Chelsea Barracks would be sold because of the amount of renovations needed. The original selling price was expected to be around £250 million, but in April 2007, an agreement was made to sell the site for £959 million to a group consisting of Qatari DR with developer Christian Candy and CPC Group. Problems began when property experts claimed that the Qataris overpaid for the 13-acre property and should re-examine their plans. This led to a hold on the proposed three billion pound project. The Qataris also agreed to contribute 78 million pounds to Westminster City Council's affordable housing fund. In May 2014, the Westminster Council granted planning consent for the first phase of the plans. This phase, designed by architect Squire and Partners, will construct 74 apartments across three eight-story blocks and will include two new garden squares. While the new Chelsea Barracks development will offer luxury residences and other amenities, many had hoped long before now that the development would be well underway, especially for the issue of the Fund for Affordable Housing in Westminster. Whilst the rest of London saw continuous construction and new plans for future schemes being proposed, the Chelsea Barracks site had remained idle during the 2011 through 2013 period due to a review with the government of Gutter over the site. As with so many of London's development schemes, there is opposition. The Chelsea Barracks Action Group has always opposed the plans, saying the building will loom over a very classical part of London. Chair Georgine Thorborn has been quoted as saying, we quite like it without having anything on the site. For all the local residents, we're going to have to put up with five years of building six days a week. It's going to be very stressful. While the site is empty and everything is quiet, quite a lot of people living by the barracks have fabulous views, and we like the calm so long as it may last. 